Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullets Lord Tower, and today I'm I'm gonna be sharing you guys s sharing with you. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a really, really, really cool piece of writing that I did today. Like, not today. Just I I I've been in you see in English class for the past few weeks. We or well, actually in school, just in general, we have been um talking about environmental degradation and climate change. And practically all of our subjects are about environmental degradation and climate change. And so, and so in English, we had to write an essay. Well, not an essay, we... You see, the whole premise of this activity was to read about this fake newspaper article and then write a letter to the editor thing about it. And, and I wrote a thing. It's 291 words. It's it's very good. It's very it, I like it. I'm very proud of it. I showed it to my mom. My mom said that it was cool. Anyways, <clears throat> ahem. The long-term consequences of climate change are unequivocally impacting right before our eyes. But is this really our fault? As a result of innovative technologies and worldwide broadcasts, natural disasters are being destroyed upon well nigh every television. This leads us to believe that these tragedies are becoming more prominent due to one sole reason. Our ignorance. Which is a very doubtful and bewildering claim, given that Earth's cl climate has fluctuated momentously through eternity as an aftermath of changes in the sun and variations in Earth's orbit. Although the statement, 8 out of 10 hottest years on records were in the past decade, enlightens the disconcerting trend of global warming, it disregards the accuracy of historical temperature records. This revolutionary data has been based off of, the, off of modern recording standards. Have we considered the possibility of, hol of hotter dates prior to the invention of temperature recording? Um, since the Industrial Revolution, our society has, in truth, contributed, contributed to the one degree rise in climate within the past century. Scientific evidence is indicative of a rise of climate ascribed to coal burning and other acts of tomfoolery. Despite these daunting consequences, they should not discourage us from living comfortably with technologies and coal, as we can cultivate sustainable substitutes without harming the planet. Uh, furthermore, evolving into greater developed climate-friendly technologies is precarious in consideration to its expense. The cost of living is rising rapidly, making it almost impossible to invest in such sumptuous luxuries. We must focus on reducing the cost of living for the purpose of making shift the shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy. In summary, the absurd catastrophe of climate change may not have been entirely our fault. However, room for improvement is always available. Collectively, we should ensue working towards building a sustainable future. Word count 291. Yeah, that was it. Um, by the way, when the assignment said letter to the editor, but it wasn't supposed to be like an actual letter with a, like, like, dear, whoever you are, blah, 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 sincerely tell. It wasn't supposed to be like that. It was just supposed to be like an opinion piece, basically. Um, Mr. Ladder still hasn't given me feedback on it. I'm still waiting. I hope that he likes it, or else, or else I'm gonna cry. But I'm, I'm not gonna like make a big deal of it. I'm just gonna like cry, like silently in my room or something. Um. Also, I've been really into having peppermint tea lately, and also today, as I was taking my magnesium pill. It exploded and I coughed up magnesium. It hurts. Don't do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, climate change, we should stop learning about climate, well, actually, no, we just, we learn about climate change so much at school.
Tuma, well, not Tuma. We we learn about it in basically every class. Social studies, English. We we're doing a bit of stuff about it in science. Not really in math. And not really in the other classes. But but our main classes, you know, English, social studies, and science. Those are climate change related. We watch a lot of documentaries about climate change. And actually, we're not really learning about climate change that much in social studies anymore. Mainly, we're focusing on uh, the musket wars, the potato wars, and cannibalism, and that stuff. It's actually, it's really quite interesting. Like, they were, like, back in, like, the 1800s, and there were the there were there were those uh there were those missionaries that came to my country, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, what happened? Again? I don't know, but there was something to do with like they wanted guns, and they were that to get guns they needed potatoes and pigs, and that they like traded and stuff. We're actually going on to the Declaration of Independence soon, I think. I'm not too sure what we're learning about. Maybe, ma mainly, like, primarily we're just doing a bunch of closed activities on it. And those are just, like, we get given a worksheet. And it's just a bunch of writing with little gaps. And then we watch a video. And then we just fill out the random words. I don't know if it's a very effective way of learning it, but it's fun. I like that presentation that we had to do. You know, uh, you guys, you guys actually, uh, a few of you guys actually helped me out with it. The viewers, you viewers, thank you for that. You know, and it was the, we, we were learning about Crozen migration to New Zealand. And I need to do an interview with a Crozen person. Croatian? Crozen. Croatia. Croatian. How do you pronounce it again? Anyway, I, I learned the most from that. That helped a lot with the with the wine industry in New Zealand. So thanks for that. I mean, I've never tried wine, but thanks. Um, I have nothing else to say. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always update the best.